Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of, <laughs> just notice the balloon, I just noticed the balloon, the day of um, Satil, the archangel, God is our prayer, nope, not Thor, he's a false god, quick acknowledging false gods on God's states. All right, top of the message, we are approaching the new year, everybody's going to have their New Year's Eve party tomorrow. No, they're not going to have their New Year's Eve party tomorrow. Well, uh, well, St. Patrick's Day is going to be the new year. You know what I'm saying? The true new year concerning the earth. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just, you know, I talked to my friend, uh, Chocolate, Shots Chocolate, uh, last night. and said, it's so sad that I can tell these people that the new, if, it, if it's going to be a new year based upon reality, it uh it has to be ideal near spring it has to be somewhere near spring because the the ideal of spring is about rejuvenation renewing the earth the, the earth becoming in a renewed process of growth of plants and animals you know what i'm saying and on the heck a ideal of winter can show anything new you know when it's a time for you know death towards uh animals and you know, plants. We're going to leave it alone. But, you know, that's how much blind and deceived everybody is about believing the lies of this world, people in the world and how much terrible demise is going on concerning the influence going on in the world should be a no-brainer. But as what Jesus says, they have eyes, but they can't see. They have ears, but they can't hear. And neither do they want to understand in their heart, unfortunately. Too many people, but topic of the message. Well, I was walking uh, towards this place and I saw a picture of Pac Man. You know, I saw a picture, you know, of a thing that had Pac Man on it, and I felt let. I did a video of this a while ago, while back, but I feel inspired to do this video again and. Uh, you know, and I every when I saw that Pac-Man sign, it reminded me of the video I did a long time ago, but I'm going to do it again. Well, topic of this message is the reality, are you a spiritual Pac-Man? Now, everybody know the game Pac-Man, and, you know, I like the game Pac-Man, and I used to watch the cartoon Pac-Man, and it's interesting, you know, watching that cartoon um, that I certain things uh uh got got that I liked it about it. But the thing is the idea of Pac-Man that I you know want to utilize is that Pac-Man he eats ghost monsters. You know what I'm saying? He's the, the ideal he's supposed to eat ghost monsters but in order for him to eat ghost monsters he must have power pellets. As you know, the game, not pellets, but have power pellets. And the thing is what, you know, that I see this uh, spiritual Pac-Man. And what's interesting that I, you know, uh, I, I, I like about Pac-Man is how Pac-Man opened up his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He opened up his mouth. It's, that's I like how when he opens up his mouth, he don't open it halfway. He opens his mouth and he and that's interesting. I don't know why. But I'm going to talk about the ideal of more likely if you're a spiritual Pac-Man is an ideal, supposed to be an ideal view of a Christian that I'm going to show you that Christians. Now, ghosts, let's talk about the ghosts. The ghost, a ghost is a spiritual, you know, uh, uh, being, you know what I'm saying? It's a spiritual, you know, as you know, the ghost, Pac-Man ate the ghost. He ate the flavor of the ghost, and but the spirit and them eyes go right back and go get some more, you know, uh, uh, I guess, whatever you want to call it, um, clothes, I guess, ghost clothes. They go back and get more, and he has to deal with them again. See, that's the ideal of spiritual warfare, that we're supposed to be eating ghost monsters, you know what I'm saying, or more likely the uh, Ephesians 6, 12, uh, 
for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We're not supposed to be eating flesh and blood. We're not supposed to be eating one another, but we're supposed to be eating principalities and powers and rules of darkness and spiritual, see, spiritual wickedness in high places. And the thing is, the ideal of the ghost monsters are spiritual wickedness. And as you know, the I watched the cartoon that Batman chumps them, they go back, and they go get some more clothes. You know what I'm saying? To try to go get back Pac-Man again. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, we are supposed to be Pac-Man eating power pellets to go after. And the power pellet, of course, represents the word of God. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all know that. It represents the word of God. And we're supposed to eat power pellets to eat ghost monsters. Now, you know, what always disturbed me when I watched the Pac-Man cartoon is when Pac-Man gets cornered by the ghost monsters and he doesn't have power pellets and the ghost monsters chomp him. And what what was interesting about the ghost monsters, ghost monsters, their mouth don't open wide enough. They mouth, their mouth don't open. They just go chomp, you know what I'm saying? But when Pac-Man chums, his mouth is wide open and chop. You know, that's what really interested me about the ideal of that show. And when Pac-Man gets chumped, he has to get power pellets to go back, to go chump them back. And the thing is, what I see Christians, you know what I'm saying? Well, unfortunately, professing Christians, they're busy. And oh, yeah, let me talk about Pac-Man first so before I get to this example. Pac-Man is, you know, a bunch of Pac-Man. And no episode I ever seen in Pac-Man, the cartoon, I never seen another Pac-Man chumping on another Pac-Man. I never seen that, you know, in any episode. But what I'm trying to say is that, you know, Christians, we're not supposed to be chumping on each other. We're not supposed to be opening our mouth, saying negative things about each other, doing negative things about each other, we sh we're not supposed to be doing it, but the only per the only thing we're supposed to be chumping is ghost monsters, and that is supposed to be the principalities and the powers and the rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. But thing is, if you're not going after, see the ideal of Pac-Man, Pac-Man as the video game, they go after them. They they're not going after other Pac-Mans. You don't see on the you know the the video game. Pac-Man going after other Pac-Mans. No, you see them going after ghost monsters. And the thing is, unfortunately, we Christians, more our professing Christians are conformed to this world. And they're going after each other. They're going after, you know, saying negative things about each other, whatever, you know, it's a crazy, you know, Christian world that the Bible prophesied that it's going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, we need to stop this going after each other and pretty much be on an agenda going after the ghost monsters because the ghost monsters is causing the problems that are going on in the earth. That's what scenario I got from watching the Pac-Man cartoon, that the ghost monsters and the guy that creates the ghost monsters was going after the earth. They're trying to take over Pac-Land. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and I, I want to talk about this episode. I saw an episode that they had this Pac-Man vampire. It was a Pac-Man vampire, and he, you know, guy recruited a Pac-Man vampire to go after Pac-Man. Even the Pac-Man vampire did a vampire is supposed to eat you, eat and suck the blood at you. Even the Pac-Man vampire didn't go and try to chunk. Pac-Man. They he ate the power pellets and went and chumped the ghost monster. That episode tripped me out. That shows the idea that if you are a Christian, if you are one, you are not supposed to be going after other Christians. Even, you know, is that supposed to be that evident, pretty much. But here's the thing I uh, understand about the Pac-Man game. When you finish your level, you go another level. See what I'm saying? When you finish a level and get all the pellets, finish a, a course, you know, if we do what the word of God says, love one another, have joy of the Lord and our strength, be peace, do the work of God and get all the power pellets, get all the word of God 
When you finish, you go another level. And as what people say, another level, another devil, another ghost monster. But the thing is, we need to be about going higher, glory to glory, faith to faith, and going other levels, going after the kingdom of darkness. We're not supposed to be busy chumping on them. And, you know, it's too many Christians are on this low level chumping on each other and not going another level to go against the devil, go against the ghost monsters. They still stuck on this level, you know, can't get past it because they busy getting chomped by ghost monsters. See, and that's why you hear they get, and you know, the ghost monsters can represent, of course, the spirit of fear and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, familiar spirits. You know, you busy listening to the uh, Satan and his influence that's going to teach you how to come against flesh and blood, hate your one another, you know, uh, fight one another, argue with one another. You listen to the ghost monsters instead and chomping on other pac mans instead of listening to the word of God and getting power pellets to chump the ghost monsters. It's is what I see this rigmarole that's been going on a lot. But I love this example based upon that if we are going against and, and the principalities and powers and rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness, high places, we're supposed to go to another levels, glory to glory, faith to faith. We're supposed to be going against the real enemy, King, the Satan in his kingdom and darkness. We're not supposed to be going against each other. You know what I'm saying? It's the idol concept. But guess what? Pac-Man is going to open up their, his mouth. And what are you opening your mouth to? What are you speaking? Are you speaking the word of God and coming against the kingdom of darkness? Or are you speaking against each other? You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, not going to no other level, you know, against the kingdom of darkness. You know what I'm saying? But you're getting chomped on by ghost monsters. See what I'm saying? I hope you got the concept. I hope it makes sense to you. I hope you be about being the spiritual Pac-Man, going against ghost monsters praying, uh, praising God, worshiping him, praying again, reading your Bible, fellowshipping with other Pac-Mans that are genuinely going after ghost monsters, not going after each other, um, and truly be about going to level, to level, to level, to level against any, with all, any devil, devil, level, level, you know what I'm saying? But that's the message. I hope you got it. So hope it made sense to you. To God be the glory of him forever and ever. In Jesus name. Amen.